course, and we're going to be making a 2D platform. I'm Floyd, I'm going to be one of our co-producers, a designer, and a sound engineer. I'm Pablo, I'm going to be the artist. I'm Anirudh, I'm one of the programmers. I'm Kaushik, and one of, I'm one of the programmers. I'm Daniel, I'm, uh, I'm co-producer and a sound engineer. And our main producer, movement engineer, and artist, Marty, not here right now. Erica is one of our designers and our artists, and Nolan is also another one of our artists. So, Dan, we plan on making a 2D platformer. It's going to have a pixel art style, and a frog is going to be the main character. They're going to utilize their tongue to grapple and swing themselves between obstacles and platform as they go on a journey to save their kidnapped sister. The main enemy is going to be a hawk who kidnaps the sister, and minor enemies along the way are going to be snakes, otters, and smaller birds. The game is going to have three levels. One, the swamp, being the tutorial level. It's going to be a forest, and then there's going to be the treetops where the bird boss is at the end of the game. Flies will also be used as a resource to gain health character. We're making the game in Unity. It's going to be a 2D platformer RPG, and the gameplay is going to be reminiscent of older Kirby and Mario games. It's going to have basic movement with, you know, walks front and left, jump, and there's going to be a tongue grapple system, similar to a game like Speedrunners main characters, the frog says so they get kidnapped, and the main frog. All the enemies are pretty much basic predators to frogs. Pretty much the same thing here. So, we got a character, the first, the main character is the frog. Next, the frog family is like the father, mother, and the sibling. Next, for the frog supporting, it's like flies and spiders. Uh, here, we have one main enemy, main enemy, which is the armed bird. We have it as a eagle. Next, we have some mid-level enemies, which are which is a three uh, big three-headed snake under the tree, and the minor enemies like small birds, otters, and snakes. Yeah. So, some of our character designs, we wanted something like a frog wearing a hat at first, and then we were thinking of like Among Us for some reason, and then that's why that one became a thing. And then we were like, okay, let's make it close to Kirby a little bit, but that's how it turned out. Um, and then you see the pixel versions. So you get, so basically the main character is going to use the tongue for attacking as well. And, yeah. and then we have our enemy concepts. We have the bird. Well, it's, yeah, it's a bird. And then it's wearing a skull like similar to Cubone. I was thinking of Cubone whenever a bird came up, I don't know why. Um, and then for our references of our enemies, it would be like the snakes, the triple-headed snake, which is from Temtem. It's like a Pokemon ripoff. Um, and then we have the little otter, and then we have the owl, which would be like our final boss. For XP booster, we will have like uh, some kind of uh, insect, like uh, flies or some uh, spider. So uh, it can be used to use the light as a health booster. And a uh, spider is uh, mainly uh, tarantula and frog have known to have mutual beneficial relationship. And we would like to use this aspect in the game by having a tarantula protect the frog from enemies. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it.